beautiful day on the sand. A little overcast, but still nice. Doesn't look like we're gonna see the sunrise. sunrise today. Oh, yeah. Hey there. So today is just kind of a wild card day. We got, we technically could still catch fluke today. It's still season, so I'm gonna maybe try. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm gonna try for fluke though, I think. And then if we see bass, which I'm seeing bass now, you know, I'll try to catch a couple. But we're in the sound. It's gonna be a super calm day, so I wanna get into the sound when it's calm. All right, catch back in. You never know what, what we might uh, see today. So, let's see what I'm seeing here. I think I see bait. And then I see light. Like, you know, some streaks underneath it. Could just be a bunker. Definitely something chasing this bait pod here. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's nuts. I don't know what it is though. It almost doesn't look like bass. I don't know. I'm tempted to just put the underwater camera down and find out. So off camera, caught a porgy, and there's a lot of life going on. So what I think I'm gonna do is just gonna use some discount, you know, baits that I've had in my tackle lock for a while. And wow, something just blew up right there. I mean, I think today I'm gonna catch a lot of pretty much whatever I put on the hook, so. I'm gonna try and get rid of some of this stuff I never use. And it would be nice to see a, uh, you know, bigger fish come by. She might have me. Wow, look at these things. Look at that. There are so many boys out of me. This is nuts. I don't really want to fish for porgies today, though. I really want to find some bass or some blues. Catching big porgies in this farm. I'm gonna keep a couple just so I have something to eat. Okay. They're liking this f fish bites, fight club, or whatever. This stuff. The store was going out of business, and I. Picked up a couple for clearance. 
the weirdest thing is I'm not even on like any kind of special bottom. I'm just drifting aimlessly out here. Count. Whoa, just more and more every time. Then this here they come again. This is crazy. more giant porgies. <laughs> oh. I can't even, I mean this guy's strong. I'm gonna break my hook if I Up. I'm not even. There must be so many porgies out here. So I put the camera down where I saw all these really good marks and it was just porgies. I, you know, I guess there could have been some blue fish around, but uh, to my surprise, it was just all porgies that showed up on the underwater. So this area is the inlet that I was talking about where I saw a lot of stripers. As you can see, it's uh, a lot of small guys, but uh, they're in there pretty thick. Um, I had trouble getting the uh, bait to swim properly. It was pretty strong inflow in this little channel where it was, um, but that's where the fish seemed to be. 
and we did end up catching um, one here. Unfortunately, uh, the bait is out of the frame, uh, but you'll see we uh, we connect with uh, one of these little schooly guys. <laughs> So in this next clip, um, you're going to see a nice, a decent size striper come and attack it here from the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Here um, a fish comes up and investigates. I think it might actually be a porgy. It's kind of a broad fish. And then here we have another bass coming in to have a taste. And this bass is actually a decent sized one. Now I'll slow it down so you can get a good look of how this bass just absolutely inhales this shad. showing this bass because it had like a different coloration than the ones I was catching at the bridge. So on my way back in, I captured this nice blue fish uh, coming up to attack this shad. Here it is in slow motion. And notice the difference how they actually bite the tail and don't swallow the whole thing. There he goes, spitting the tail out. I don't know if it got on the underwater, but some bluefish ate that tail. Almost out of battery. All right, so unfortunately I was covering the microphone with my thumb, so there was no sound here. But to basically summarize, I'm just uh, talking about how it was a lot of porgies, uh, not too much other fish, some stripers, and what I think was a bluefish, one fluke. Um, but yeah, we were trying new things with the underwater camera, tried like a little inlet where we saw those stripers, uh, trolled the beach a little bit, and yeah, not much else going on, but hopefully, you know, as time goes on and we try new things with the underwater, we can get some different looks. So thanks for tuning in and, uh, catch you next time.